The rubber dam was placed in order to keep the working area dry. The area to be bonded on the teeth was first cleaned with pumice and water, rinsed with water and then air dried. The appropriate length of Everstick C and B was measured using a dental floss. The desired length of fibre was cut together with the silicone bedding. The cut fibre piece was shielded from light. The surfaces of the teeth were etched with orthophosphoric acid, rinsed with water and air dried. The bonding agent was applied onto the teeth surfaces. It was light cured as described by the manufacturer. A layer of flowable composite was applied onto the bonded teeth surfaces. The fibre bundle was placed close to the incisal edge on top of the uncured flowable composite. It was adapted by pressing it down with a stick stepper hand instrument. The fibre was then light cured for five seconds from the other end. The wide tip of the stick stepper instrument protected the rest of the fibre bundle from the curing light. The pontic area was further reinforced by attaching a short piece of fibre transversely to the main frame using flowable composite between fibres. The pontic area was light cured for five seconds. The initially cured fibre frame was completely covered with flowable composite. Final light curing was performed for 40 seconds on each tooth. A pontic base form was placed to shape the cervical part of the pontic. The pontic was built up using composite according to the composite manufacturer's instructions. In this case, only flowable composite was used because of the open bite of the patient. Normally a restorative composite would be used. Finally, the bridge was shaped and polished.